Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I'm vlogging while my hair is unkempt. I'm still in my pajamas laying in bed. It's just one of those days. <laughs> so, uh, oh, Happy New Year. Uh, it is now, this is officially my first vlog of 2012. And I almost said 2011 because I haven't quite gotten used to saying 2012 yet. It's only been a few days. <laughs> so, um, no, I wanted to see how your all Christmas went. Mine went great. I got to spend time with friends and a lot of family. It was fun. Um, did you get what you wanted? Um, I know I did. I actually got a few, quite a few things that I really did want. Um, one of the things, I, I've been doing a lot of reading and I've just been reading different stories. So, like, the one of the series I've been reading is the Percy Jackson series. And um, I really like that storyline, that world, that everything about it. It's just, it's fun. It's interesting. Um, so, after the Percy Jackson series ended, Rick Raritan, he started the Kane Chronicles, which I have not started yet. I do have the first two books. I have not started them yet. But the other one was the Heroes of Olympus series. Um, it started off with The Lost Hero. I read it, and I, I love it. It's really... It's one of those books where, especially since I'm already engaged in the story and everything, I just... I can't put it down. I, I have to know what happens every time... Like, I think, okay, I'm just going to read till the end of this chapter, and then I'm going to, like, I like to read before I go to bed. Um, I'm just going to read the end of this chapter, I'm going to put the book down, I'm going to bed. Yeah, that doesn't happen. <laughs> um, I will read, and then they'll say something at the very last, like, two lines of that chapter, and I'm like, what? I have to keep reading! So I had to find out what happened. So I went through that one really quickly. Um, then for Christmas, I got The Son of Neptune, and uh, that's the one that I'm now reading. It's the second in the Lost or um, the Heroes of Olympus series. So I've been reading this book, and it is really good. I'm about that far through so far. Um, so about a third of the way through, and it's it's really good. It's just it's one of those books that if you like you know, fantasy world, something that's an easy read, that I would suggest that book. I would suggest the whole, the Percy Jackson series, anything so far, I, Rick Raritan is one of my favorite, or one of, you know, yeah, one of my favorite authors. Um, I, I really like his work. Um, so I can't wait to, I don't want to finish the book because I don't want it to be over, but I can't wait to find out what happens. Um, I don't want to say anything about what happens because if you haven't read any of the books, um, I don't want to give it away. If you have, then you know what I'm talking about if you like it. Um, but I can't wait to get through this book and I can't wait for the next in the series to come out. I just, I really like them. They're, I've, I've actually read through the Percy Jackson series, um, all five books either two or three times, I'm not sure, just because I really liked it. Um, I read through it once, and I usually read through a series a second time just to see if there was anything I missed the first time through or didn't get. Um, and then when this new The Heroes of Olympus came out, um, I went back and I reread the Percy Jackson series again because um, I was wait you know, I knew that the Heroes of Olympus were coming out, and um, I just kind of wanted, because I had gone back and was rereading the Harry Potter series, and um, I kind of wanted to get back into the um, Percy Jackson demigod world. So um, I did that, and I've been reading Son of Neptune. It's really good. It's um, I definitely recommend it. It's, it's fun. Um, anyway, what else? How was your New Year's? I know that I had a great time. Okay, so when people drink... I don't really drink beer, and I don't really do shots or anything like that. Uh, I like the fruity drinks, the, the ones that taste like juice, <laughs> basically. You know, the ones that, that are the fruity ones. Anyway, um, so I looked up a recipe online for sangria, and I made sangria, and it was like um, white Zinfandel wine, peach schnapps, and then like you take frozen berries and fruits and use them as like little ice cubes. Um, it was really good. And, um, you know, I made it for everybody and they liked it. I am definitely, 2011 for me has not been the greatest year. Um, I, I'm 
I'm glad to see 2012. I have to say, 2011 was really hard. Um, went through some hardships. Um, one of the biggest and most devastating was my aunt, who I was very close with, was in a car accident and um, she was killed instantly. Um, I miss her greatly and the memorial ceremony was beautiful. She lived up in Washington for um, over 10 years, I think it was, and you know, for I, I would go up there to spend time with with them, with my aunt and with um, her partner and with my cousins. And, it, you know, it, the fact that, you know, or it, it, they lived so far away and I don't get to see them all that often. After that had happened, um, my cousins, you know, I got to see them. They came down for Thanksgiving. They came down for Christmas and for New Year's. It was actually, it was um, really great to see them. Um, I know it was hard on them as well. Um, it, it was hard on everybody. Um, we love her and miss her a lot. Um, and just, you know, that was just kind of the icing on the cake of a really bad year. And um, all together. But, you know, 2012 is here. It's a new year. It's a chance to start over and to move on. So right now, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm working on. And so far... Um, you know, through, I mean, even start, starting in, through December, it start, things started kind of looking up and going into the new year. I'm trying to go at it with a positive attitude. We're going to be, you know, we're going to try and have a happy, healthy, and, you know, positive new year. So I'm going to try my best to make 2012 a great year. So anyway, um, I, oh, I, this is, I wanted to ask, um, do you have any New Year's resolutions? I personally don't really make any um, resolutions regularly? Um, what about you? Do you have, do you make New Year's resolutions? Have you made them in the past? Do you normally stick to them or do they kind of like fall apart after February? <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, I hope that you all have a really great New Year. Um, wishing you a great 2012 and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Good morning, good morning, it's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you.